I think that what you've just outlined um, demonstrates how the vast majority of people in this country are feeling at the moment. And I've obviously been knocking on countless doors across the country for this local elections uh, today. And what I have encountered is real fear about how people are going to pay their energy bills, how people are going to afford their weekly shop, how people are affording to fill up their car at the petrol pump, because prices are far outstripping uh, most people's wages and certainly eating into people's um, savings at the moment. And the response, I'm afraid, Damien, is just frighteningly small in the, in the scale of the crisis that people are facing. We are going to see the biggest collapse in living standards this year since records started to be um, drawn up in the 1950s. And I'm afraid Rishi Sunak's spring statement, which just showed how completely out of touch the government are with the way that ordinary people are living their lives at the moment. 12 years in of Tory rule, and we have the Prime Minister telling 77-year-old Elsie, who became famous this week, that she should be grateful for discounted bus fares when she's having to ride the bus because she can't afford to heat her home. The government would like to tell you that it, there is nothing more that they can do, that it is entirely global factors. Of course, there are global factors behind the massive inflation that we are seeing, but there is far more that the government could be doing to step in and help people. For example, this week, we've also seen record profits from Shell and BP, $16 billion in excess profit that they didn't expect to earn this year. And yet the government is still refusing to apply a windfall tax, as Labour has set out that they could do, that would cut people's energy bills. <laughs> 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 <laughs>